what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I want you to take a look at this photograph and tell me if this woman looks like someone who had just been responsible for a car crash that critically injured a woman. Look at the smile on her face. Like she really doesn't understand the gravity of what she did. Or maybe she do. Anjanette Marie Welk, 44, rear-ended a Honda Elantra on Highway US 27 on Thursday, causing the vehicle to crash into a trailer truck in front of it. 18-year-old Shiana Crow was behind the wheel of the car and suffered minor injuries in the crash. Her mother, however, was not so lucky. Sandra Clarkson, 60, to the right, died days after the crash from her injuries. Wow, absolutely no remorse. This is the face of a woman who has never been held accountable. And why is it that the drunk driver never dies? It's like, it doesn't matter how loaded they are. It seems that they always escape, oftentimes unscathed. Florida's minimum is 10 years. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I wish that I could say with confidence, I bet she's not smiling now. If she is, she soon won't be when she realizes how screwed up her life is about to become. Enjoy your stint in prison, Smiley. But the truth is, in the American judicial system, they oftentimes overpunish people for nonviolent crimes and don't punish people enough for things like this. This is the way it is. You know, I drink occasionally, and that's like one of my worst fears is to get behind the wheel and have had too much to drink and, and do something like that. That That is a horrible thing. I would not want that on my record. I would not want that on my record at all. Um, I remember once coming home and we're going home and this dude was drunk. I mean, he was driving like it was two lane street and he was driving like, like this. And he hit the curb, bam, got back on and then the fool, he was actually in the neighborhood. So he didn't have far to go, but I was like, damn, how did that fool get that far? I well, I don't know where he came from, but I was just thinking like, how did he even you know, navigate as far as he did. The dude was gone. That's that's a crazy thing. That's a scary thing. There's so many people that drag and drive. And what's crazy is that I don't drive drunk, right? But legally, you know, it just depends on the drink. If you take a double shot or something, you're legally drunk in a lot of cases. So it's easy to pick up a DWI, but some of these people, they pick up DWIs like it's nothing. Like, it's, it's people out there who have five, six, seven DWIs, and they're still driving. They still have their license. So the truth is, America just isn't harsh enough on people who drink and drive, they're, they're too lenient. That's probably why she's smiling. She knows that she's going to get a slap on the wrist. Again, y'all, this is America. Another day, another sociopath in the USA. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.